Hi Stampers, I'm Meg from the Loven Stamps blog and YouTube channel and I have another project for you. This one also uses the nice cup of stamp set and the fun die cuts, but this is kind of a neat card design because it opens this direction. So you have kind of this cool um, window design in the front, which is kind of a unique uh, card design and a great place to feature a lot of those stamp sets that have a really neat um, main element. So let me give you some tips and tricks for making this card at home and let's get stamping. So we need our card here, direction, or pieces with the um, large silver foil doily. I love metallic foil doilies. Um, gold and silver, they're wonderful and they come in two different sizes. But our card here um, is pre-die cut for you with a circle um, from the Circles Collection Framelits. And this one is going to just get folded in half. And then right through that circle is where we're going to attach our metallic foil doilies. And like I said, uh, this is a great um, card design when you want to feature a certain die cut element or a, uh, just a cool shape. The die cut of the cup is done for you with the cups and kettles framelit. Cups and kettle framelit. Lots of cups, one kettle. And the stamp I'm going to use here is the big cup. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this um, in Bermuda Bay. And we're going to go ahead and stamp this. Oh, I forgot my mat underneath. That's okay. We'll see how it goes. All right. Now it looks like it worked great. I'm just going to give it one little smush from the back side to make sure that works. One of the great things about photopolymer is that you can see what you're doing. So I'm going to add this little swirly. And this little swirly, um, you're going to want to use your fingernail or your pokey tool, paper piercing tool, to pull out some of that little extra adhesive gunk in the middle. Um, but then this is going to fit fine. This little swirl is also in the die. It's sized here to fit with cups. Then there's also this little one. Because you can have all kinds of fun de decorated teacups, right? So I'm going to use a dimensional and put this down. And I like to work on the front, the inside of my card from the front so I can see what's going to center nicely here with our pieces. All right, so there's a strip of Whisper White cardstock here. Oh, that's for my last project. There it is. And I'm going to use the You Are Terrific again. Um, this strip is much bigger than I need it to be, which is nice. So I can, you can do as many of these as you want here. You could be terrific, terrific, terrific. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and trim this down because I want the sizing on our little greeting strip to be a little bit more petite than this big strip of paper. So I'm going to cut some banner ends on this. And then I have um, two punched pieces that are included. And I have the 7th inch, in, seven eighth inch circle scallop, uh, which is retiring. If you can't live without this one, make sure you order it uh, very soon because it's going to disappear. And then the one inch circle punch behind it. Now the biggest trick about this one, I actually like to put my dimensional here on the card and peel the backing rather than putting it on here because I want to make sure that I don't seal our card shut with our cute little embellishment. So there is a really quick, uh, quick, easy and sweet card that features these pieces. And then um, my friend Glenda likes to call this, she says she calls them mother-in-law cards because there's room to write, you know, dear mother-in-law, have a great day, love uh, Meg or whatever, Glenda. <laughs> so anyway, uh, if you don't have a lot you want to write to someone, this is a great card design to uh, make it seamless. So. Thanks so much for stamping through my mail and watching my video. Make sure you click subscribe so that um, you will be notified when I post future videos. And if you need a Stamps and Mail Club kit, you can request one from my website. Thanks so much for watching. Happy stamping.